Leonard, what can we say about the nature of mathematics itself in, um, in defining what it means to be true? We know mathematics is a description, but many mathematicians uh, believe in that math is somehow a, uh, a vehicle to communicate with a higher reality, a so-called plato platonic heaven or platonic realities where math is, and then mathematicians, most of them feel that they're discovering more than inventing. Um, physicists, on the other hand, might see mathematics as a tool of describing the physical world, and some would even say that mathematics is our uh, construction of the physical world and is uh, something that we invent. So as a physicist who uses mathematics, who studied many p people and, um, and have known people who use mathematics, what can you say about the nature of mathematics as its relationship to truth? Well, it's interesting that over time, for most of the history of mathematics, people thought that mathematics was true. It, it was a system of uh, rules that you could grind through and they would, one would imply the other, as opposed to physics where that kind of happens in theoretical physics, but because uh, we're so imprecise, inexact, or can't solve anything, there's always a lot of wiggle room. And uh, in the early 20th century, mathematicians wanted to show that they could axiomatize all of um, mathematics the way Euclid tried to do with geometry. Mm -hmm. You have your assumptions and your rules, and then you derive everything else. And uh, Gödel showed that that can't be done, actually, that for systems of a certain complexity, there are automatically going to th be things that are true that can't be proved. So, sorry, mathematicians, <laughs> it doesn't work. It's incomplete. Um, uh, physics is incomplete is di in a different way uh, in that we push through and don't, most physicists don't care that much about whether the mathematics is really legal as long as uh, it seems to make sense. And so most theories of physics are in some ways maybe a little suspect from the truth point of view. And that's really the difference between mathematics and physics is that physics is considered true if it's your results correspond to the experiments, and that can always be invalidated at a later date when we do better experiments. Mm -hmm. not, not to show that our experiments were wrong, but that we probe in areas, faster speeds, hotter temperatures, or bigger masses that we've never looked at before, or smaller things. Uh, whereas mathematics is in a way, not in a way, is more of a universal truth. So even though it's not a, perhaps a complete truth and that it cannot be axiomatized the way they would have liked to do it, uh, it, it, it's timeless in the sense that one thing follows from another to the extent that you can show all that, and it's not going to be invalidated at a later time. Mm -hmm. So you have to give it to them as a physicist that they have a, a, more, a more true profession. Um, <laughs> and, they, and, and it's easier in some sense to do that because once they prove their thing mathematically, you don't have nature showing that your whole thing, that everything you've been doing is wrong. <laughs> you don't have them, nature showing you that, um, <laughs> you know, that when you go really, really fast, things don't behave the way they do when you're going slowly. So throw out all that stuff you had before and come up with a new theory. On the other hand, hey, that's what we live for. That's what's exciting is when those things get thrown away. So we kind of like it as a physicist to throw away our old theories and have the challenge of making new ones. As a physicist, one of the uh, classic reasons that uh, you, uh, you think you're proceeding in the right direction is that your mathematics makes you feel good. And the word beauty is often used, that the mathematics are beautiful, which often means simple, but doesn't have to just mean simple. Um, how important is, is beauty or simplicity? Uh, that, that's extremely important. Now, I, I know with string theory there is a lot of criticism that people tend to believe in string theory because it's in some sense a lovely theory. People don't like the standard model because it's ugly. Uh, I was friends with Richard Feynman many years ago, an iconic physicist, and he really bristled at that because he said, who are you to tell nature what's ugly and what's beautiful. Just figure out what works. And the standard model is, is ugly because the equation, you know, is Take that Take two big. pages and they have and, 20, and 30 different the parameters, parameters you have to and fix. And a lot of them are, are, are arbitrary based well, on... Well, yeah. fixed by experiment. Yeah, They're right. not, whereas Einstein's equations are very nice. One line, it's right. beautiful. Right. So, but I mean, put that aside. 
you can argue that aesthetics have a place where they don't, but even Feynman, when he did his calculations, or when I do my little calculations, um, we're guided by, you are guided by beauty. When, 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 usually you going, you have some e expressions, mathematical expressions here, and you're trying to figure out their implications there. When they start to get really messy, you just have a feeling, it's usually because you made a mistake or because you misunderstood your interpretation of what's going on. Because the equations have a physical interpretation at this end, and after I grind through to figure out where they're leading and get another, you know, get the answer, they have an interpretation at that end. In physics, it means this goes to that. But in the math, you can see it developing, and it's going to left field, it's starting to look ugly. You go, something's wrong here. And it's something that I think guides every theoretical physicist in all, in all their math. They realize, oh, I must have forgot a term, things should have canceled, I missed a sign, or who knows what happened. And, and you have an intuition that something is going wrong if they don't have that nice form that you think that they should have. So what to you is, is, means a nice form? Is it just, um, it, it, it's not just it's something short. where you look at each piece and it makes sense to you. So you might have something that's fairly long, but if you look at every piece, it, 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 it means something to you. And, and if it starts to lose that, uh, usually I mean, it could mean that it starts to get more complicated, but it could also just mean that you don't, it doesn't, you don't see the meaning in it, then that's, that's often a, a danger sign.